Alright guys, how are you guys doing today? What I'm going to be doing today, as you can see from your screens, is testing out Black Ops on the new MacBook Air. Uh, what's different about this video from the previous gaming videos that I've done, if you haven't seen them, I've tested it COD 4 and I've tested it StarCraft 2. Now, the difference between them two games and this one here is this one is being played on Windows 7 Ultimate through Boot Camp. The other two were being played directly from Mac OS X. Snow Leopard, so I had to install a separate partition, uh, put Windows 7 on this, and then run the game. Bit of a hassle, uh, I might add, uh, but nevertheless, as you can see, I got it running. What's also different about this machine is that it's running on 4 gigs of RAM. The other two games I was playing on a different MacBook Air that had only 2 gigs of RAM, so this one's got 4 gigs. Um, and my overall feeling on uh, general on Black Ops is and I might get hated for this, I might get criticised for this, but to me, um, Black Ops and Call of Duty 4, in terms of graphics, are pretty much the same. If not, Call of Duty 4 uh, is better. Uh, they're made by two different developers. This is Black Ops is, of course, made by Treyarch, and the other one is made by Infinity Ward. Personally, my personal point is, and it's not a fact or anything, my personal point is, Infinity Ward do a damn good job of uh, graphics and quality. Uh, over Treyarch, uh, but nevertheless Black Ops is an amazing game, but that's a different topic in itself. What do I think about Black Ops on the MacBook Air? As you can see it's playing, it's fine, the video's fine. I would probably only play a single player mode on this and then delete it once I've completed it. I wouldn't play multiplayer uh, and the reason for that is you wouldn't enjoy it. I mean I, I, I play on the Xbox quite a lot, uh, it's one of my favourite games, one of the games that's always in my Xbox and I play it a lot. Um, and I find that, you know, now and then it can get a bit choppy, um, I wouldn't, I, I just wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, there would be no fun in it if it's just going to lag a little bit. Now given, yes it's a given, the MacBook Air is the thinnest friggin' piece of machine on the planet so far, and I'm surprised as to how well this is um, turning out to be. I, I didn't expect it to perform as it cur currently is, I mean, try and do this on a netbook as some People compare this MacBook Air 2, um, no way are you going to get the same performance out of it. So I would only play a single player, delete it once I've, and then, you know, play multiplayer on a proper games console. Sit down, son. Take a knife to your f hands. And as you can see, uh, I'm getting a, is it what, I'm not even too sure what a gun it is, despite me prestiging on the Xbox. But I've got my grenade launcher right here, and I'm going to call some carnage. As you can see, you've probably seen there, um, it did lag a little bit, and um, if you are going to be playing this on the hardest level, which I think is the veteran mode, um, you are probably going to find it a bit annoying, and here you can see me taking out these cars. Now you're probably lo looking at this and saying, hey, tell us what settings you're playing this on. The game settings which you can change from the Black Ops menu, I chose 1280 by 800 uh, 1280 by 720 or 768 also worked fine. But to me, I don't know, this option seemed like it was the best one. And my MacBook Air specs are, of course, the Core 2 Duo 1.86, 4 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 320. I'm not too sure how well it's going to perform on the 11 inches, but I'm thinking due to the uh, low processor, um, and especially if you've got 2 gigs of RAM, uh, it is going to be more choppier. Um, but that said, I mean, I mean, look at look at you know the graphic quality of this. It's nice. Um, personally, I'm not a PC gamer. Uh, I'm not. I'm more of a console guy, more of an Xbox guy. And as you can see, I'm rallying my way through uh, the baddies. And uh, overall, I mean, I played the first four or five levels, but because I've already finished campaign on Xbox, I thought I'd shoot this video up quickly because I know a lot of you guys are going to be getting this machine. Uh, for Christmas uh, or in the next few weeks, you'd be surprised as to the number of people that have sent me comments, emails, um, asking for help, um, and a lot of a real, you know, a lot of positive comments. I really, really appreciate everyone who's stayed up to date with the MacBook Air 2010 series. But guys, in all honesty, that is greatly appreciated. Uh, that is very, very cool of you guys. And here I'm going to go and choke this guy. But first of all. I'm going to try and see if I can shoot his ass, but then I realise it's not going to be a good move. Trying to aim in, and... Sir, look behind you. On the ground. Oh yes. Look at that guy's face, look at those expressions. He was in pain. 
Um, but here, I'm just again just showing you that you know you can shoot stuff off the table <laughs> for whatever reason. But guys, if you have any comments, if you're running this game, uh, what performance levels are you getting? Any tips to boost the quality? Although I'm sure there isn't. But maybe when this game actually comes out on Steam for the Mac, it might perform a little better. I'm not too sure. Were the previous two games I tested it proving better because they were running directly from Snow Leopard, i.e. I didn't have to install uh, Windows 7. But here I go on a nice wee streak. Take a knife to your throat, son. And you, sir, sit down. And I get raped uh, at this part here. There were just too many guys. But guys, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Any concerns, any queries, um, leave a video response. That would be a bonus. If not, you can go into iglassvision.com. And guys, if you haven't seen the other MacBook Air videos, I highly recommend you go watch them. Especially if you are thinking about getting one or you're not too sure if that machine is going to be for you. I've done a lot of speed tests, video tests. Yeah, it's worthwhile watching. I've also got a gaming channel where I kind of do commentary over Black Ops on my Xbox and I'll leave, if you click on the bottom right hand corner of this video you can go directly to that. But guys, thanks for watching. Cheers!